Hi, this is Adam Stern for Strata SFR here for an October 2023 market update on the build for rent segment. Main question that a lot of builders and land developers are asking themselves is build for rent and build for rent investors a viable option or a more viable option? Sell inventory, including finished homes, new construction homes, or finished lot versus going to the retail market or exiting through the sale of those lots to just uh, for sale home builders. In October, I think what we're seeing is a most definite shift in the buying habits of build for rent firms, getting more aggressive on buying completed unit inventory from builders and having to compete with uh, home builders for finished lot inventory, creating a really good situation for uh, home builders that have finished home inventory or developers and builders that have finished lot inventory. If a builder and the developer is looking at the market today, as opposed to say three months ago, six months ago, a year ago, uh, the opportunity to sell a finished home or even a finished lot to a built for rent firm versus say, taking the distance and going to the retail market or solely going to home builders to sell finished lots, the opportunity to sell to the built for rent segment, certainly in October, is better than it has been in months past. And there's some reasons for that. I'll go over both some, some tailwinds and some headwinds that the built for rent segment is facing. But by and large, you know, when a builder comes to a point where they have a decision to make, and that decision is I've, I've got a home that's going to be complete or is completed, and I can either sell it on the retail market, which takes time, energy, and expense, or I can sell it to a built for rent investor. There are pros and cons to each. Some of the, the pros of selling it on the retail market include likely a higher price that you'll get per unit versus a, a built for rent firm. But some of the drawbacks is a longer time to sell those units out, very often taking quarters or even years to complete the uh, sale of the subdivision where you can sell to a built for rent buyer still today at a lower price per unit, but have an assurity of the amount of units that they'll be buying on a monthly basis, the price that they'll pay for those, for those units. And that assurity of exit not only decreases the time that a builder takes to sell out an entire community, it also provides some assurance about the price they'll get, as well as uh, allowing them to plan how they buy their, their materials and labor for that project, making the opportunity to get more favorable financing a little bit easier from the builder's perspective. So if you lay it all out on the table today, the option of selling to a bill for rent firm, even though the delta between what you can get for a unit, whether it be a, a finished lot or a finished home is wider than it was a year and a half ago. Today in October, I think that capital is starting to come off the sidelines, starting to knock on the door of operators, asking them for ways to get deployed into the residential housing market as built for rent housing. And because the operators are able to underwrite more optimistically financing rates, because I think the general consensus is that interest rates are not going to be going up anymore and that, that financing underwriting can be a little more aggressive, causing them to be able to be a little more aggressive on how much they can pay for either a finished unit or a finished lot. The opportunity in October is certainly more available now than it was in months or even over the year that has passed. So there's good reason for it. We get calls all the time, especially in October and, and late and, and mid-September, asking us for new build for rent or finished lot opportunities. This is because capital is knocking on their door saying, hey, we want access to this market. We want you to find us opportunities. So obviously them calling builders, developers, and brokerage firms like Strata is something that they'll do in order to find that inventory. So I can go over a few reasons for this increase in appetite from build for rent firms. In terms of headwinds and tailwinds, easy to see uh, that some of the, the, the tailwinds pushing investors in the direction of build for rent, making them more aggressive in how they pursue these deals is the high demand for rental housing. Obviously, higher interest rates mean means people can't pay as much for uh, a house because their mortgage bill will be higher, pushing them toward renting, lack of available supplies, causing housing prices to go up, which is causing it to be harder for buyers to buy houses versus renting them. So the demand for build for rent and rental housing in general as, as remain strong, capital, again, coming off the sidelines and trying to find its way through operators to new construction housing, as opposed to buying existing rental properties that need work and might rent for less. 
that is certainly a factor. And the, the strong performance of the rental housing market, especially new build and new the constructed housing units has been extremely strong with high rent growth, lower than expected vacancy and high occupancy. So all of these are, are, are tailwinds pushing investors to want to get more aggressive in buying uh, new build for rent housing. Uh, some of the headwinds, which are also headwinds for our builder and developer clients, are uh, a low supply of lot inventory. And really that started to happen, or that's really a result of in early 2022, developers taking their foot off the gas and acquiring new land positions and building less lots. Now that we're 15 months later, it's really starting to show a decreased lot inventory, which means home builders are willing to pay more for those lots a lot of times than built for rent firms, unless those are communities that are really in the center of the dartboard for the built for rent communities, in which case, a lot of times the built for rent buyers and investors compete and win those deals over uh, traditional home builders. Another, another headwind is the operating margins that uh, operators have to contend with right now with higher taxes and higher offering expenses are causing their margins to get squeezed, which is making it more difficult to find deals that pencil. And of course, investors have to contend with higher interest rates, which means they can't pay as much as they could traditionally before the interest rates went up for build for rent housing. But uh, all in all, I think in October, it creates, it marks a really good time for builders to have more options in the three different directions they can go with either selling finished homes or finished lots being, if they want to take on the risk in terms of time and expense, moving and going to for sale inventory in the retail market is an option. Deciding to sell that inventory for less money per unit, but much faster and much more assuredly to build for rent investors is there with less of a delta between market value and the price that investors will pay. That's there. And of course, the third option, which is selling finished lots as opposed to building out houses and making build for rent firms and home builders compete with each other for that lot inventory. It creates a really good situation for home builders and lot developers that they have these multiple different exit options. I know that over the last month, really at Strata so far, we've gotten more calls than ever from different buyers wanting to buy completed units. Because we've made our business servicing regional home builders, we are also getting calls from home builders wanting to buy our lot inventory, which means we've become somewhat of a, a, a hub for not only built front firms, but also for uh, builders looking to acquire lots from other builders and developers that we come in contact with and then we ask for inventory. I think things are looking up for builders and land developers in the month of October, lots of different options. And if you are a uh, land developer or a lot developer or a builder looking to explore these options, you can reach StratSFR uh, over here and find us on our website at www.stratSFR.com. We'd love to talk to you. Hopefully you enjoy this monthly update. Thanks a lot for listening.